All right, let's watch this trailer now. So beautiful. Out of the sea, wish I could be. Part of that world. That was joke. beautiful. You like it, James? No, I guess they're gonna have the next thing. We have another Black Superman. We have a Black Punisher. We have a Black Captain America main character in the Office, and they do an Office reboot. Steve Carell is gonna be black. What's wrong with that though? It's political. I don't even mind if her being Mexican. It's political. Hasn't it always been political though? No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. The Sound of Music, I wouldn't say it's a political film. I wouldn't say uh, movies are inherently political. Like Home Alone, you know, they, they do a Home Alone reboot and it turns out it's a black dude. You can do that, do whatever you want, but it's it's stupid to me. So why does it make it political? Is it because we've always had this problem Because apparently as a country, America as a has nation? this racist problem. And if you disagree, if you don't like there being black lead actors replacing... It's, it's not even, okay, first off, usually how black replacement of characters are done is it's not even done in good taste. There's no reason to have a black main character. It's just for the sake of diversity. The character will have no different backstory, no deviation of character. It'll just be deviation of skin color. And it's, a, it's, it's always done in poor taste. Okay, isn't that relative to what happened back in the 1920s and 30s when white people were doing the same song, uh, black people's songs, just doing it in a different, uh, uh, just doing it their way? Yeah. It's literally the same song. It's literally the same thing. Because it's not even the same thing. Because there's, well, no, there's no black entertainment, the there's difference. no ET entertainment at large making a, a show and making Little Mermaid their own thing. They're just making a black face. Like I would I agree before, with you. They're not going to say, oh, this is Esmeralda, and she's from yeah, James, uh, the I lower your side of the ocean, and she had a little bit harder. There's no originality at all. It's just transparent. I understand the example, and you don't have to, like, extend it. I'm saying that... You're saying, well, white, what I'm, white, what I'm saying saying, white no, people did well, it Hold on, past, James, let me, so let me okay? get... No, why, no, 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 okay? I'm not saying that, no. So what I'm not saying that. I'm saying white people had a voice. They were able to have a voice. They were able to speak out their likes and dislikes. Black people didn't have that, or any other minority didn't have that back then. So there's a difference. When you have a voice, you're able to express the way you feel. When you're being heard, it's able to be changed, but because... White people, like I said, for example, were taking black songs and redoing it, and black people weren't getting shit from it. it. We were totally being robbed of our humanity. So I'm just saying, like, if you want to be fair, we should always get to the root of it, and that's where it came from. So not having to the a root, voice. So in your, so are you saying that it's just for a, for white for white people to be replaced? In movies that they were originally white, that it's just for them to be replaced by black people because of no. the injustice in the in the past. Is that what you're saying? No, I'm saying like, why are you pointing out that it's just for black people to, uh, for white people to be replaced with what black characters, when it was just for them to be to replace black music with white songs? I never, I never even agreed to whether or not that was good. 
But I'm saying, isn't that not what happened? If a black person made a song and a white person comes and takes it, that's wrong. But that's not even what's going on here. A song was already a song is already made. It's already established in history, and now it's being rewritten in a different light. That's not even the same scenario. They're not equivalent. No, I'm talking about pretty much the principle. Just because it's being replaced by a black person, what's racist about it? I'm not saying I didn't say anything was racist. So what's wrong about it? Then? But in order to appease some black person in a, in a movie theater, we must make this black. Because if we have another white main character, then there's something inherently racist about it. But why can't a person who has an idea in his head want to make a story with a white character and, and it not be a problem? But now if you have white characters, it's a problem. I'll, I'll show you. The, I can even show you the articles where they're saying, oh my gosh, another white main lead this is getting exhausting or finally a refreshing we don't have any more white main leads like it always has to be a race issue now that's why well, did, bla did black people create racism or do white people create racism it doesn't matter because if what if, if race wasn't an issue then they wouldn't how, how, they would be okay with more white actors well i'm just saying like if if there's a problem right in order to solve the problem you get to the root of it right but getting, I don't, I don't see how putting a black, how making a character black I'm not, gets to the root of whatever problem you're talking about. It, it's not that it, it's not that it gets to the root of it. I'm just saying, if racism wasn't a thing, it wouldn't be a problem, like you said earlier. But the simple fact thing, that then it, then it wouldn't be a problem. Then it wouldn't be a problem, regardless. But because racism is a thing, it is a problem, and because white people haven't been addressed about the racism that they've been doing for centuries. That's why it's political. It's problematic because they've always been in a position of power. So when they see a bit of their power being taken away from them or their images being taken away from them, then it's a problem. It's just like when black people, when Johnny Storm was white and Marvels, white people went crazy. They were saying all kind of rights, racist stuff like, oh, who's Johnny hey. Storm? Uh, it was, it was, um, what's his name? Jordan, uh, Michael B. Jordan. He played, um, in Fantastic Four. He played Johnny Storm. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Why, why does he need to be black? What's wrong with him being any minor, any type of Because race? the way that, it, like I said, the way that it's done, it's never, it's never a evolution. <laughs> Is that an assumption that you're making? It's never an augmentation of the character. It's usually done in poor taste. So... So is that an assumption? Is that an opinion that you're making? Or is that what you're absolutely saying? Like, that's what's going on. If you look at the people who make the movies, they vote one way. The majority of donations that go, to the, that go out of uh, Hollywood, it goes biasly one way. It's, what if it I were means... to tell you that some of these stories that are being written were actually influenced by, they're actually original stories from minorities and tribes and uh, other cultures that influence writers from it? Hollywood to write these kind of uh, characters because I'm pretty sure and I don't even have to have any facts to back it but I'm pretty sure some is of these the Little movies, Mermaid probably not about some was, a white is the Little Mermaid probably, probably about some Polynesian people probably sure possibility yeah okay but it would be a better case to make the people Polynesian if you wanted to have but a that that's you argument, making an assumption that say, they're let's make them Polynesian or yeah. You act like there's ain't you act like there's no bl black people on islands. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not just Polynesian, it's just all kinds of true. black people who are on island oh, sure. on islands. Maybe so you the can't movie, pull that maybe card. the movie will be a different rendition of Mermaid. And that would be a little bit better than just putting a black face on something. Because I if they're agree. just gonna make Little Mermaid where she has the same attributes, the same characteristics. And the cast is the same exact thing. It only the, the only difference is they have some black people peppered in there, but there's no originality with it. Just like the rest of the black implants they've always done for the past five years now, then it's not it's not acceptable to me because it's not original. It's just it's just a way to appease black people. Is it appeasing black people or appeasing minorities? Because well, I didn't just a see type of black person who feels that he in order for him to feel special or. In order for him to have like more self-esteem, he needs black movie characters. See, I don't see what's racist about it. 
Like to me, I, I don't didn't say it's racist. I said it might be like reverse racism. Like it's like in order for us to in order for us to have justice in the world, we need to have representation at all costs. Equal but this is a multicultural country, James. You then make your own. Uh, you you may not have, but not a lot of people are in position to make their own movies, or they when they do, it doesn't get to Hollywood. Sure. You know what I mean? Right. What Sounds gets to Hollywood kind is. Of is the official narrative yeah but who controls that well you think if, it's a bunch of black faces and uh, okay, minority so faces or is it would, a bunch okay, of white so people? if that's the case aaron do you think the people who control hollywood also control the news oh i, I don't know that it's pretty likely they do it's more likely than they than and one person controls the news and the other person controls hollywood and they're and, uh, and they're at odds with each other they're probably going to work in unison Okay. So why would Whitey give you a black mermaid? To make money off of it. So even then, it's. it's so I can. I would still consider that in bad taste because you're basically saying, "Here, nigga." That's what I feel. This is. I feel like this is nothing but a ploy to get dollars or to possibly just kind of feel like some passage of writing a wrong in this situation. I don't feel like it's genuine. Like no, it they, doesn't seem genuine at yeah, all. Yeah, I don't think they really just wanted to make, you know, because um, one, I just feel like if that was the case, they would have came up with their whole new story, which I don't feel like it is. I feel like this is just going to be Ariel all over again, just black Ariel, which is kind of silly to go by, but that's what it seems like what they're doing with this. I feel like if they were genuinely trying to make it more, I guess, representative, it would maybe, you know, tying it into maybe some African folklore or some shit like that or something to that effect. So it at least identifies better. This just feels like they slapped a black face on Ariel and ran with it. For and, and and I can agree that I feel like I, I'm more in agreements with you guys when it comes to that. I think it was done. It wasn't done in a genuine way. And I do feel like uh, it is for a specific agenda. I'll even go as far as that. I don't even believe if I've seen enough Hollywood move, movies already or with lead black actors, I would say that anytime we have a role, it's never two black people. So I, I can guarantee you that Haley, if that's her name, Haley, she's yeah. going to definitely fall in love with somebody who is not black. And I think oh, no, that's I'm, another. It's confirmed. I'm I'm looking at the cast list right yeah. now. It's a it's a white guy. See, and I and that's how they do us. And when then, it comes to black images, and like, then her father Triton is going to be a white guy too as well. I knew they weren't going to make King Triton a black guy. Right, because it's, he's a position of power. Yeah, and I'm think and and I think that's how they're really good with images because they don't want the narrative to be a powerful black man they don't want him to be a powerful black man not only that to double slap you in the face we don't want her to fall in love with a black man exactly so this is how they do things in hollywood to manipulate not black men but black women all right so in that case i would just rather have an all-white cast because you see how if I wanted to have a black person, there's stipulations. And if I don't have the historical knowledge or the sociological... Um, well, see, the reason why I feel like they're not doing the all-white cast is because who's going to go see that? There's no... What's different from that in the original animation? Yeah, that is true. Um, and so that's why I feel like Hollywood plays at these little, like, you know, let's make a character black so we can bring in this new, I guess, diverse generation that is willing to sit through this stuff. I but feel the like if they they're not making any money off of it. And it shows because off the, of what? Oftentimes when there's a divergence in literally the skin color of the characters or even mm -hmm. in the 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 gen the uh, sex of the character, mm -hmm. people will not watch it. The term is called get woke go broke. Meaning if you introduce uh in, any social justice into the movie People are going if it's if it's too blatant. People are not going to want to watch it. The thing I'm trying to explain is this: damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because if I don't put black people in the show, some white liberal journalist, by the way, is going to make is going to lament about the fact that it's an all white cast. <laughs> it's not going to be a black lady or black person. We, white people are going to be like, oh, this is so such a. 
I mean, that's for them to worry about if yeah. they, yeah. yeah. But well, here, but here's what I, I do see do the it, Then I got to worry about, well, what does this mean? What is the symbology behind having a black person here? And what does this really mean? So the, the, the people who might be a little bit more paranoid about it are going to have a problem think as about well. It. Mm, you got to think about it. You, you just, you just yeah. said that. I'm not saying well, everybody well, who's, who thinks everybody who's black thinks like you, but there are going to no, be a no, portion no. Of, the pop, of the black population who thinks like what you just said. Yeah, well, the reason why I'm saying that is because, like I said, image is very important. And the reason why I'm saying that is this is why, like you said, these minority films uh, films, or these lead black roles are not getting as much play as they used to is because what? You, you, have, you still have your parents, our parents' generation, and some of the grandparents are still there. And I would say very slim to none grand, great-grandparents are still there. And we have... Are the generation X and then below that are coming up under. So we still have a large proportion of people who grew up in the 50s and 60s that still exist. And they still have that mindset. Now they got to live with black people and pretend that they're not racist. But at the same time, they're like, shit, you know, I'm still white pride. Yeah, da, 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 da. Or whatever. Or black pride. Yeah, da, da, da. The difference is that we were forced. And I would say forced in a way that we had nothing else to watch. When we watched Batman... We had no choice to see him but white. When we watched Spider-Man, we had no choice but to see him white. When we seen Superman, we had no choice to see him white. And, and that's what we got used to. Are you only going to feel comfortable watching shows where the main characters are black from now on? The reason why I'm going to say yes is because there's not enough diversity All right. to give me another choice. So does Goku, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you, I would like to... Goku needs to be black. No, not black. He could be. I, I should be Japanese? Asian, technically. Is he Japanese? I don't know if he's Japanese, but I don't mind him being Japanese, Mexican, uh, Polynesian. I don't know. Well, Goku's but, not. Goku's not white, right? I don't know. Is he? Thank you. Let's he ask is. Google. Goku's not <laughs> white. It's obvious he's not white. Yeah, they the, all their characters and stuff is in Japanese. It had they would have to be Japanese. All right, how about this? Hey, Google, what ethnicity is Goku? To Wikipedia, Goku comes from a race of now nearly extinct extraterrestrials called Saiyans. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of obvious. That was kind of obvious. Correct. Oh, man. They technically are planet. aliens, so. Okay. So I I'll leave that out of the picture. So I will just go ahead and say he's Japanese. But if we can, I would just say, but what I do notice is that even in Japanese culture, a lot of the star characters have blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. I don't know that. I don't know if that's for marketing purposes or whatever, but it seems to be appealing. I can go. I could say Bleach. I can go ahead and say uh, Naruto. Naruto. I can go ahead and say Dragon Ball Z. Um, They're Japanese. Yeah. But I'm saying that the image of blonde hair, blue eyes have some form of power or some. I don't know why. Why do they? I mean, that's a whole other topic, dude. That's a whole other topic. So, no, I'm just saying. And I wouldn't even agree this, with you on that. This, no, this is this is a subliminal message when it comes to blonde hair, blue eyes, and being in a position of power. And this mm -hmm. is what I'm saying. When her parents are being white men, I mean, with her dad being a white man, and her the dude she's gonna fall in love is gonna be a white man it goes to tell you that they're still in a position of power subliminally over another race now i'd be i told i promise you the reaction would be totally different it probably wouldn't even be racist if they had a black father and she falls in love with a black man i honestly feel like white people wouldn't even trip honestly if it was a white what now if the cast was predominantly black like if she fell in love with a black man, the father ha was to be black. I think they would have a problem and, and with it if it wasn't done in good taste. It just has to be. It's the way it's done. How? See, but this is what I'm saying. They. What would you qualify leave. as good taste in a way to if do this? Then? I'm telling you right now, it, if they made a Static Shock movie right now that was original to the cast and everything, it would do very, very well in the box offices. Yeah. Yeah. But they, but they only want to do this cheap way where we call being creative adding a black person into something mm -hmm. that has nothing had nothing to do with race 
what's really going on is that image or, or color, like like I said, we had to deal with racism. We didn't, minorities didn't have a voice for racism. You know what I mean? Like my dad grew up where on one side, when you went to the theater, it was whites and it was coloreds. Like you got to understand like what they went through. When they drank at a water fountain, you had to drink at a coloreds only wa- water fountain. You know what I mean? So you got to understand how they've been conditioned. When they seen a superhero, they had no choice but to see him as white in that time. And it wasn't wasn't something like, oh, they're niggers and we talk under the tongue. Like, they came up to you and told you you were a nigger. Like, that was the difference. So in order to appease the trauma of your father, we must have more black male. No, no, no. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm you saying is that in what you're arguing, because I you keep bringing up, well, we had a racist past, so therefore what, Aaron? Therefore what? So, what what I'm pretty much saying is that I think that the image has to be, uh, where it's fair, where you know, realistically, more than likely she's gonna fall in love with a black man, All or right, more so like more than likely her father's gonna be black, or uh, or so I'm that, pretty much that's saying. What needs to happen. Yeah, I think so because, like I said, Princess Tiana, she falls in love with some dude that does not look black. I don't know what ethnicity it is, or I and I can go on and on. Like how many black women images that they're putting in the power, putting it in a submissive role to a white man. So, you, do you think this is a good idea that she's in the movie that a black male or a black female is leading in this movie? You think it's a good idea? No. All right, neither do I. Rob, you think it's a good if, idea? If, yeah. Um, no, and and mostly because I'm just over remakes. I think remakes are terrible in themselves. Live action remakes are stupid. Um, I have yet to see a good one, especially from Disney. Um, uh, no, I would. I, I don't think it's a good idea. All right, so we're we're in we are in disagreement on why we don't like it, but. At the very least, we are in agreement on that. It's good, not a good idea. Cass wait, wait, wait. Are we in agreement that she's? It's not a good idea that she's that she's black in it, or that she's in like. Yeah, I'm in agreement with that. To me, I I don't think she should be black because the dad ain't black and the man she ain't fall in love was black. I'm not trying to be racist, but it just doesn't and seem realistic to me. I got you. For me, I just feel like I would be okay with her being black, but do an original story that goes with. There you go. Like I like mermaid. that better. Yeah. I like that a lot better. Just just make a black mermaid. It doesn't need to be aerial, but blackface, Ariel. That's how I feel like this is. 